Thanks again to EcoFlow Delta 2 for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to head to my first link in the description below to visit EcoFlow's Green Energy Solutions. Yay! Well, hello, friends. Hello. I don't know how it's going to go already. Like, I'm going to go working and filming in the sweatshirt. I'm cold. The, the air conditioner is on and it is hot outside. <laughs> Don't worry, the air conditioner is working fantastic in the Mega Mama kitchen and the house in general. Uh, it's probably like 80 some and humid out because it's been raining, but anyway. So since we have room in this kitchen and uh, the, the original Jamarell bowl, as our YouTube community friends call it, uh, this looks like a regular old bowl, bowl almost in this kitchen and all of my hopes and dreams of uh, my mega food preservation are coming to life. I went ahead and got two more. They are not that much on Amazon. I'll of course have the link for you down below if you have not gotten one and you would like one. Uh, but for years, I have used that 30 quart bowl um, even over at my forest house. I used it just fine and it is phenomenal. And Ooh. I know that these new Jamarel Bowl number two and Jamarel Bowl number three will be, have a happy life here. And just dry them out. I think it's been three days since I have worked on our Mega Mama Kitchen move-in projects in here because, you know, life's happening around us. So three days ago, just try to keep you on our little timeline here, I just finished filming the move-in and cook-in in the Mega Mama Kitchen video. I think that's what I'm going to call it. You can tell me from the future what I ended up calling it. Um, then I had two solid days of working on um, a sponsored project. And that just took like two days of my life. And then uh, yesterday I had some appointments in the morning, had a kid with an appointment out also. And then our oldest son ended up coming by and we got to visit with him for a while. Just lots of good stuff. Ended up being a, like I did some work, I didn't do any filming work. So today we're back at it. And my hopes and dreams goal for today is that we are going to get this new table load <laughs> full of stuff organized even if it's not organized in here i had to bring it all in here these are not the items from my two upstairs uh, dwindling pantry closets these are various pantry items that were in the baby kitchen um, other storage like glass jars uh, to store pantry items and dry goods and things in it's a lot you'll see so time to get to work so let me show you our work our work is cut out for us that whole the whole table so there's still a lot to unpack in this kitchen and yeah there's there's plenty to do over there so again a lot of this stuff behind me is like pantry staples that ended up in the baby kitchen and then some other like organizing containers and some gallon jars and half gallon jars things to organize pantry items in a kitchen now my quandary right now there's there's a couple quandaries they might be worked out by the end of this video or big mysteries might still exist so part of the things i'm currently swinging besides gotta jump into that i'll just keep saying i'm gonna jump into it and here in a minute we'll be in it um at some point, so Travis and Zion are currently working on the project of getting the freezers and refrigerators from the front porch down in the basement. But see, I feel like that leads us to a whole lot of questions and I am going to film a whole Mega Mama Kitchen Q&A video for you all because there's like a dozen questions I get again and again all over social media and all the places and I think I've heard better in like a YouTube video, which is cool. So I'm gonna film all of that. And in there, I'll tell you like why they're going to the basement and what what the plans are with the house and what's becoming the baby kitchen. And I'm gonna tell you a lot. <laughs> so we'll get to there. I don't wanna make this whole video into like, you know, a six hour Q&A video, right? Cause we, we know, we know I, have, I have the gift of gab, right? But in this video, 
when Zion and him are done with that, I do want to move these stained glass windows around. Um, I do think that I'm going to try over here in like the three window area. I've heard from several of you and I, I do think this is a good idea and I want to try it. Um, the, and there goes Travis's truck <laughs> driving through the yard. Um, I want to try that like cross sunburst mission style window. Um, is that, see, I'm pointing to it here, but it's not quite there. I have, okay. I have to like exaggerate point to it. Okay. This is how we film a video, Jamera. That video, nope, that window there, I want to try in the middle of the three. And I'm going to put the, um, the round one back in the former kitchen sink window. I'm going to put that middle one in our current living room window. Um, I want to try the, uh, if you remember at the forest house, I had um, 10 birds in my kitchen window that my mom had got me for Christmas. That's been in another window in the house. It's just not shown on video too much. I think I'm going to swap the birds out for here because I really love being able to be here and like have a, a quick eye shot. Even if, you know, of course Travis is out there and yada, 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 but a, a mama likes watching her kids run and swing on the swings, right? Um, so I want to do that and then I'll show you my other quandary which I feel like by the end of this video like I'm gonna see if I really need this here I just don't know I just don't know and we're working it out I had brought in our um, well this was like my little coffee tea station table in the other kitchen and you know in this area like I contemplated I could have had the countertop run to here I could have had another set of cabinets under there. I just didn't know if I wanted anything permanent there. And I thought, well, I might want a taller table. I might want to do, like have this be a food photography window. I just wanted some options here. Now, I have this table and as, and of course, like the trash can here, don't, don't pay. <laughs> Don't, don't pay any attention to the man behind the curtain, right? Don't, don't pay attention. This trash can, I don't think it would live there though. So anyway, you guys have the best ideas, but I wasn't so concerned about the trash can. I just feel like someone watching might be concerned about it being there. Um, so we brought this in and here it is. <laughs> How do you like that? Um, and you can see I've been, I, these tomatoes, like, can I also give you a tomato update? There's just so much to catch y'all up on when I don't video for a few days. I've got to focus on this table though. We'll get back to the tomato update in a second. Um, I feel like there's things that I might end up needing to put here. If I'm truly going to work on getting um, a good portion of my kitchen stuff from the basement up here. Now, like I have a couple extra Instant Pots for filming and recipe development purposes and looking at, you know, my schedule and how school's going to go and how I think filming food and things are going to go. Will I bring those up here? I mean, I think so, but I don't know. It's like so much to work out. So this is like you're watching me work this out, okay? So I'm not married to this stainless steel coffee station table being here. I've also thought about um, moving my coffee station back over to here. And I mean, you know, the vitamins, like we, we, we have other things that are overflowing. Um, but if I leave a table here, then we get into, you know, the next quandary of, I wanted a couch for here and I wanted like a nice relaxing mama chair here. I can still do that even with this table if the chair, no trash can, is kind of centered in here and then here under the window, like the couch might have to come down a little bit or maybe this light has to move. Um, I haven't bought that furniture yet. So that's helpful. <laughs> like I know, like the chair is no, non-negotiable and I do love a couch in the kitchen. Um, so it may be that in order to do that, I just can't have this larger piece here. Again, I don't know. But uh, since my table, I told you like I haven't been in here working on this project for the past couple days because I've been working in other areas. With my table jammed up, this island is wonderful multi-purpose and in working on bringing things in from the garden, it's kind of like you give a mouse a cookie. 
And I had trays of tomatoes in the middle of the island. And anyway, it just got me thinking. I mean, because normally we're not gonna have, you know, once I get through this, the table will not regularly look like this. But it just made, it got my brain thinking about bringing in this table and I could put tomatoes on it for now. Um, I'm picking a lot of my tomatoes while they're green because I feel like too many days are going by and I'm not getting back out there. And I just, I know all that I am trying to get done this week because I am a desperate homeschool mom and I'm also trying to get school started next week. And in order to do that, I need to finish this. <laughs> so I am letting these, um, these tomatoes get red in the house and I do have uh, several gallons of tomatoes that I did bring in and I did at least get them in the freezer since I can't like I can't really do those kind of projects right now because I mean we're still getting moved in so those are some things that are swirling we'll see how much of that is like processed and hammered out of this video I hope by the end we have some answers with windows and tables and such. Um, also over here in this corner where the couch and stuff will be, sorry, you are walking on a big tripod. Um, there's a big pile of, of things that are growing. Well, I mean, a lot of the stuff has been here. I don't think I showed it to you. Like I have a friend that I'm giving my two toasters to and one of the indoor organizing racks and the other um, pan organizer and this stuff here is for a sponsor. It got shipped the other day. That's Tobin's seat he's been sitting in. Things like these um, cereal keepers we're gonna use here today um, once I finally get going. So we're doing it, we're doing it. And now here friends, I am really introducing you and Travis. Travis is gonna help us with this because we need help. He's gonna be my director. I am introducing you here to the EcoFlow Delta II. It is not just a battery, but it's an essential home appliance, whether for daily home usage, outdoor or travel use. It's a handy and eco-friendly power solution for your whole family anytime, anywhere. And Travis is there cheering me on. <laughs> He's working with the camera. Camera. He's telling me to flip it. He's telling me to make it into a little tent. He's telling me all the things and I am trying so hard, but I need his help. <laughs> so here you go. Yay, Travis to the rescue. And let me tell you, this is definitely the, the EcoFlow Delta II is a sponsor that Travis can get behind. So with the EcoFlow Delta II, I want to tell you there's three really cool ways that you can charge. You saw us with the solar panels, you can hook it up to solar and charge it that way, but there's also two other options. So you can take this, and of course it's, Travis has it wrapped all nice, this orange plug. So this right here, and Travis is looking at me cringing because he knows proper names, but uh, this would plug in here, like so, pretend we're in a car, because we have been wanting something like the EcoFlow Delta II portable power station. It's really a handy portable power station. And the Delta series has reinvented the large capacity power station industry and Travis is here for it. The Delta II powers 90% of home appliances for long runtime with the largest one to three kilowatt hour expandable capacity and 1800 watt AC output. There's even an app that Travis has and I tell you, it's just amazing, amazing. And so here we are going to cook dinner and we're not using the island outlets. Oh no, we're not. We're not going to use any energy from this kitchen. We are going to use our already charged, ready to go, EcoFlow Delta II. Yes, we are. So I'm getting it set up there. Again, it's already been charged and I will explain to you here shortly. There's actually several different ways to charge it and I'm going to cook with my electric pressure cooker in it. Oh yes, I am. We are going to get dinner going and we are going to use the EcoFlow Delta II portable power station to do it. So there it has everything on the back and I just plug my kitchen appliance into it. 
The wonderful thing with the EcoFlow Delta 2 is you can power without overloading. Delta 2 has a powerful 18 watt AC output with most outlets so you can achieve power freedom by again running 90% of your home appliances while powering what? 15 devices simultaneously. No fears of overloading with high wattage devices up to 2200 watts with the EcoFlow's X-Boost technology. And Travis loved this. It has the fastest AC charging with revolutionary cross-stream technology, charging 0 to 80% in 50 minutes and 0 to 100% in just 80 minutes. It is seven times faster than other power stations on the market. You can charge from solar in three to six hours with the 500 watt solar input always prepared for a, this way you're always prepared for a power outage or when you want to take a last minute camping trip the EcoFlow Delta 2 with premium LFP batteries. It's the t same type of battery in a Tesla. The Delta 2 has a 3,000 time life cycles, six times longer than the industry's average. Use it for 10 years if used once a day. And with the smart control, it's convenient to use Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. Just connect the Delta 2 with your smartphone like you saw Travis already did. This way he can keep an eye on our energy usage and adjust settings to see our energy input all from the handy EcoFlow app. The awesome thing is, and Travis loved this, you can take the EcoFlow anywhere. So now, uh, by the way, I am here. I'm going to get some pictures put into my picture frames while dinner is cooking there. So go on EcoFlow Delta 2, just do your thing. But you can also take the Delta 2, you can take it anywhere. It only weighs about 27 pounds, it's easy to lift, no matter if you're powering a home appliance around your house or if you're using it for camping or other outdoor activities. I'm really excited about the outdoor use possibilities. We do a lot of family campfires outside. Uh, many times I'm bringing pots and things from inside to go along with our campfire, but now with the Eco flow Delta 2 I can set that up on our outdoor table and I could just literally uh, cook my baked beans in my instant pot or in my slow cooker to go along with whatever we're doing on the campfire that night lots of convenient options that are very easy and family friendly which are my favorite so remember the EcoFlow Delta 2 is not just a battery but it's an essential home appliance whether for daily home usage outdoor or travel use it's a handy and eco-friendly power station for your family anytime and anywhere. Be sure to head to my link in the description to visit EcoFlow's Green Energy Solutions. Be sure to click the first link in the description below to visit EcoFlow's site and check out the EcoFlow Delta 2. So friends, you might remember several months ago, I got this set of four food storage bowls. And it says they're actually uh, microwave safe. I got these at Costco. And I don't think they were $20. I mean, a lot of these little things I've got at Costco have been like $9.99 or $14.99. So again, I forget the price, but for those of you who will want to know what it is I picked up, and uh, you see they're just precious and they, um, let's see, what does it say they're made of? It's stoneware. And uh, they do have these little lids that can be vented. I was thinking of using them more as just, you know, nice, nice food storage and uh, food prep bowls. We have these two. And then this one, nice size. And then this one's a little bigger. All right, so now I'm going to open up the Pyrex. I do have uh, probably four Pyrex bowls with lids that I use often. So we're gonna open up some more and then attack this table. Yes and amen.
dishwashers. We've only been using one so far. Of course, I have not been doing big bulk meal prep or anything in here yet. I've just been doing regular old large family meals. I mean, I guess I have made 10 pounds of sloppy joes and done some things that we ate for a few days, but it's not like the big freezer cooking days and such. Okay. Anyway, this dishwasher has not been officially taken for a spin yet, so I thought we could put the Pyrex and the other fresh uh, bulk cooking pieces that I got uh, run on a run through here. Also, yes, I have, I have learned since my several videos back that this is how the dishwashers are supposed to go. If you missed that, again, several videos back, I had the plumbers come back out because I thought there was a problem with this height. Um, but the other reason I had them come is the dishwashers were, they just weren't set right. It just looked like they weren't set right. So they adjusted them for me and uh, they did some other things. I forget the whole call, but yes, I am there now on the dishwashers. Okay, so I'm gonna move to this one now. This is the one that's been getting all the love. I will say these are the quietest dishwashers in the world. I mean, I'm glad it has the little red light that shines on the floor. Things like I have to get right up on it to even hear them running, which is amazing. We are not upset about that. And one of the things I do hope to accomplish in this video is also having um, a basket of cups down lower over there for the other kiddos. As I mentioned, my vitamin area, I still like, I'm not 100% sure. Am I making that cabinet? Like originally I was gonna make that into like the plastic cups cabinet. Um, but now I was thinking of making it a vitamin cabinet. We'll, again, I, I'll just keep telling myself and all of us, we'll work it out. Okay, so my refrigerator just kicked on, and again, last time in a video when I said refrigerator kicked on, I don't know if you all will be able to hear me or not. You could hear me just fine. I don't think we were standing right here by it, but we'll see. Let, let's test this location, right? Um, so, the table is so big and so deep and so wide. It's like a Dr. Seuss book. I don't, I don't, don't know where to begin, uh, but I did, you saw, I just opened these pantry cabinets here so I could be looking at them and thinking thoughts. Uh, we have put some items in there. I was thinking that, um, and what we've kind of like in the middle here, the last week or so, is the top middle cabinet. 
we use for bread storage. I mean, us going through a loaf of bread, two loaves of bread a day, you know, happens. And last night at dinner, we did hot dogs and baked beans and watermelons, still rocking the easy summer meals. We went through 24 hot dog buns, three packs of eight. Um, so anyway, so like if we do things, like that was just for one meal. So if hot dogs or smoked sausage or, you know, burgers on the grill or whatever on the menu, uh, and the way that I like to cook, even if Travis is grilling, you know, he might do enough burgers that there's leftovers for a second meal, uh, we could easily need four packs of buns. Okay, so that's my thought on the bread, and that's not where I'm starting at right now, but there's a little update for you on what I'm thinking about that middle cabinet might be. So I'm going to start with these items here. Again, not married to them being here. It just made sense to put them there for now. But in conjunction with that other cart, ah, this, you know, we're doing it. This ice maker is still leaking. And so Travis's very next project, he wants to take the whole thing apart. And so every day I'm just changing out a towel under it like a diaper, right? Um, he's going to get to that. Like today's project is, he's like I'm watching him haul stuff in his truck right now. And then he's taking the kids up to an appointment uh, later this afternoon. So, so anyway, I wanna fill these jars. I think like how I've had it before in the past, I'll do one with old fashioned oats and I'll probably do one with brown rice. I might do one with white rice. Uh, I might do one with a sugar of some sort. Um, so far, these little flavor packs have been a thing for the kids this summer. I just, we have like 20 boxes of them and I just dumped them all in uh, this little holder the other night. We're gonna help things start to make sense, yes. So this is a little basket of just quick little grab cups for basically the five-year-old and the seven-year-old for Benjamin and for Daniel, um, just to grab a plastic cup quickly. I have found that recently as I've, you know, been learning to, to cook in this kitchen that I also end up doing my little bit of like, something's on the stove and I'm working with it here. Um, so that makes me think, you know, these three items will scooch down that way once my little <laughs> towel diaper is able to move. Uh, maybe we'll even put that in that direction. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking those will just scooch down a few more inches. Those were, you know, like this is very heavy to pull in and out. You all are so smart, you probably already thought of that watching me, but I had to experience it. But anyway, we'll, we'll continue.
And so friends, now I am filling up the cereal boxes and you see, I don't have much cereal left in my house. We go through seasons where there's, you know, several cereal mornings a week and we go through seasons where it's just not, not, not feeling the cereal, the cerealness. But right now I am taking some gallon jars and I am putting what is left of that big bulk bag of oatmeal for uh, two decades now. I have bought, whoops, spilled a little, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll scrape it in a jar here in a minute. Um, for over two decades now, I have bought my oatmeal in bulk at Sharp Shopper for the most part. Used to be $16 for a 25 pound bag. Now I think it's up to $28, uh, you know, cause weird stuff's been happening here in recent years, but that's okay. So I go through quite a bit of oatmeal at one time whenever I make breakfast and I do my signature, you know, try to make enough breakfast, not just for one morning, but for several mornings because bulk cooking is all I know. As I like to joke and say, I am broken. This is what I know. So also here, I'm going through just some odds and ends that were on top of the other refrigerator. I know this happens at no one else's house ever, ever, ever. But at my house, sometimes random items left from lake bags or, you know, random uh, one quarter left bags of snacks, they just get stale. They get forgotten about. It happens. But the good news is we have chickens and chickens seem to cover a multitude of sins. And so here now, finally, we are, we are going to town. We are working hard on the pantry shelves here. I decided to, at least for the moment, put the bread down in a lower cabinet to make it easily accessible for everyone. Uh, we only have about three loaves of bread out at this point in the cabinet. I do have two loaves in the refrigerator. That'll be another video that's coming up soon. Uh, and then I have two packs of hamburger buns left over from when we did Sloppy Joe's. And so I am running around now and putting various cans and some boxes of broth in these cabinets. And I'm also like wiping off a couple cans that had gotten dusty because maybe they were out lower or sat for a bit in my baby kitchen. Uh, anyway, I'm putting some quinoa now in one of my jars. And I know that things can be light sensitive, so that window may not be the best place to keep those. But again, we're kind of just practicing and trying things out. I think it's going to take like two or three months of really um, spreading my wings and cooking and doing a lot of bulk cooking and a lot of living in this new kitchen to kind of see how things are gonna you know r really and truly work best I know some of you have encouraged me that uh you know Jamerall I've been in my new kitchen for two years and I'm still moving stuff around I've heard some of those comments so that makes me feel better um, I know that people also have told me um you know, and even in designing the kitchen or now before I move in to go around and label everything. It's just that my brain doesn't work well that way. Uh, the only way that my brain works is to like get into a project, get in it and experience it. Um, and then I'm able to make decisions. So even with the designing of this kitchen, um, you know, Travis and I, we did have to visualize it. We did have to talk it out. And I had a good enough idea in my mind that I thought, yeah, that, that's going to be real nice and I can work with that. Very same with, if you remember back when we bought this house, before the world changed, before we knew it was changing. We were not one of the um, pressured home buyers in 2020. Like we had been looking for a house and trying to move for two years before that. It just ended up being, we moved right before everything hit. But anyway, when I bought this house and like when I did the first house tour, um, I'll link that for you down below. And when I was moving in and I was just sharing that um, I really thought that kitchen would work for a season. And it was just, you know, an old, dark and dungy, very small little kitchen. Uh, but I figured, no, we can get in here. If I can do that pressed metal backsplash and do it blue and at least make it fresh, I can definitely use this for a nice period of time until we do something different. And, and we did it. Look at us. And the baby kitchen was lovely and it certainly served its purpose for its time. Um, here I'm over putting the um, different bowls that I have gotten. I got some more like Pyrex mixing bowls and a few more metal mixing bowls. 
Um, and then those lovely storage containers I bought full of hopes and dreams uh, several months ago at Costco. Just going to go ahead and put those through the dishwasher. And um, it just depends. I know in my last video when I was washing dishes, so many of you asked why I wasn't putting them through the dishwasher. It just depends on what other things are going on around me. Um, in the last video, I felt like I wanted to wash things and go ahead and get them dry and put away. In this time, in this video when I was filming, I obviously had so many other projects going on. I thought, yeah, that stuff can just ride in the dishwasher and that's fine. We'll get to it later. There's plenty of other things to do. Now you might also see, let's play I Spy. Do you spy the boxes of Little Caesars Pizza on my kitchen island? Oh, yes, you do. Even though I have started cooking in the Mega Mama kitchen, depending on, you know, like the actual, I feel like this is moving into a house, okay? This is moving into a house uh, for sure. So on this evening, Travis and the kids had been out and I said, yeah, I'm not stopping to cook and I don't have anything defrosted and, 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 uh, please just pick us up some little Caesars while you're in town and uh, bring it on home. And there you go. Dinner's done. So now we're back to I'm organizing my sugar-free baking chips. So those go along with Little Caesars. But uh, hey, hashtag Mama Sanity. And so these are some containers that I got for various baking odds and ends that I had open. I'm still not sure where my baking items are going to live. Um, you all have given me some great ideas about putting them in my deep drawers and labeling the tops. I've definitely seen those kind of things done. But again, we've got to uh, get moving in here and see how things go. So for now, I'm just, these little label uh, labels came with this set and the little white marker. And so just for fun, just to play along, I am labeling what everything is on each little container. And again, we'll see how that works out. Now at this point I am washing parts to my mixer and I am washing my bread machines. I don't think I have used these bread machines much at this house. If so, I mean, I just, I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, they just ended up not fitting well in the baby kitchen, especially as an item that I could leave out every day. Now at my forest house where we lived for four years and for many years in my farmhouse, I just had a bread machine sitting on the counter. And so, you know, in the morning before we get school going, I could get bread machine going, uh, bread machine. Yeah, I could get banana bread going in the bread machine or, you know, work on doing some bulk pizza dough and just have a, a ball of pizza dough being worked on throughout the day. And maybe by the end of the day, I might have like, you know, six or eight for the freezer. Um, that's what I think bread machines are convenient for. Just kind of set it and forget it for the most part. Um, so anyway, I haven't been able to use them though. I'm going to say for two years. I mean, maybe, you know, the video evidence will tell us. <laughs> I, I just really don't think. I, I believe they went to the um, basement when we moved in and they have not come out. So anyway, they two and a half going on three years of basement storage. They just needed a good wiping out as well as long as well as my mixer. <laughs>
Now with my bread machines, I had bought one of them. It's the Breadman bread machine. And I do have it linked over in my Amazon. Uh, they, when I looked the other day, I didn't see where that one was still available, but it's there, it's linked, and there's several suggested um, that are similar. And then this other bread machine, I found at the thrift, thrift store for a couple bucks. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, had some wear and tear but it still works and so since that time I have seen many many if you see my thrift store videos I feel like every time I go to the thrift store I'm seeing a bread machine so the big thing to check for when you are at your thrift store is just open it up and make sure that the dough hook is there and if it is um, and of course the little pot then it's probably a real good buy like I see them for $2.99 $4.99 um, you uh, many thrift stores you can plug things in also just to give them a whirl and you know see, see if you hear the machine making sounds you can even wait a minute to see if it heats up but anyway here I was just kind of figuring out like the vitamins and where I wanted to put them and I was trying some things out with my cabinet but anyway we will work that out I like to have vitamins and supplements and such near my coffee pot it's just kind of ingrained in my routine that I take them and I remember to um, even do things like you know taking magnesium at night or what have you um, it's convenient for me it works in my world to have it in that area it's like a mental trigger uh, in a positive way uh, you know check the box that yes okay there's there's that better take those still working and as you can see here uh, kitchen is wiped up and cleaned up for this time so we are making progress and now I am going through organizing these drawers a little more there's a quick tour on how things are looking yep that lunch cabinet yet to be seen baking cabinet like baking items <laughs> uh, but not not the actual chocolate chips that we're working with anyway next day you know mama couldn't pull it off to get it all done in one day but I am unloading the dishwasher and I am um, working on putting these items away as well and my morning cup of coffee it's going to sing me a beautiful song yes it is okay and doing some eggs for everybody and some watermelon and the reason we're having watermelon is I had bought uh, three or four at Walmart and season's ending so just kind of serving watermelon with a couple meals as a side dish and uh, of course also this is how I multi-layer my, my content also working on a little TikTok video as well TikTok was worried because I made four dozen eggs but you know me I like to do ball cooking and just anytime I can if I'm cooking I'm not cooking for just once so definitely 48 is not enough for two meals but 48 gave us you know everyone was able to have the eggs they wanted with breakfast whether it was two or whether it was three or whether you know some teen is feeling like they need extra protein in their body and you know they have four whatever flexibility um, and then I had uh, a little over a dozen that was left and yes I will have kiddos that will you know heat up some eggs later if we had some left over it's just another like lunch portion option or what have you So we got these fun little panda face plates for younger kids. I did not put watermelon on other folks' plate. But that's a personal choice, but we are using what we have on hand. We also have ketchup, so yay breakfast.
So now I am working on dinner and this is actually the first time that I am taking this longtime favorite electric pressure cooker for a spin. I am doing my uh, lemon and garlic chicken. I do have this recipe up over on largefamilytable.com as a freezer meal too, but I also will do things like throw 10 pounds of frozen chicken in this pressure cooker and all the ingredients and then yet again we'll have it for dinner we'll have it for lunch uh, we'll probably get you know at least two dinners out of that and a couple lunches for some folks so even though I'm getting dinner going it's actually uh, I had some kids having a later lunch so we had some tuna salad that was also prepped so Amelia's just making some toasted tuna salad sandwiches because it's probably going to be two hours or so until we eat dinner and you know growing kids when they're hungry I like for them to just have what they need to go in and, and sure girlfriend make yourself a toasted tuna sandwich right so she was doing that in the background oh and she <laughs> She fed mom yay so even though I knew I needed to get you know if I was gonna get to dinner dinner had to get going but yeah I was hungry too so those those raw green beans weren't gonna cut it for me at that time uh, but we do love toasted tuna salad around here and toasted egg salad and to toasted chicken salad toasting the bread just you know adds a little more to it so I appreciate it when they feed the mama I'm going to saute those green beans and some butter and garlic on the stove. And now I am getting out my other Instant Pot and I am going to just do some rice with some broth in that. Now, so many of you have told me wonderful things about your quartz never giving you any trouble ever and you put pressure cookers and things on there and you just don't have a problem and thank you, yay! I'm just scared. <laughs> I felt like no matter what I chose, it was gonna be wrong and that's okay. Um, and I got overwhelmed and anyway, I went with, I like the pattern I found with this quartz. So. I'm still putting my pressure cookers on trivets or cutting boards. Uh, thank you to all of you who have suggested that I use cutting boards under these small appliances if I'm nervous. I figure it's not going to hurt anything for me to do it. And um, if it doesn't need to be done, then yay, here I am just trying to be extra cautious. Uh, anyway, so I've triple rinsed <laughs> my brown rice and I have um, several boxes of broth there from my pantry that needed to be used and I am getting those poured in. Evening now. <laughs> it's a uh, 7.05. We will be eating dinner hmm, 8.30 or so. Still got daylight. It's still summer here in Virginia. But um, yeah, so that pantry table organization thing is still a thing this evening. But here's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Again, I'm always like, all the time, all the time when I do these videos, I'm like the next morning, I'll be doing it first thing in the morning and we'll get it done. So on my little like, my hopes and dreams to-do list for today, I was gonna film this pantry video that done okay done then I was doing the refrigerator video too I was getting them both done so I'm not sitting around eating bonbons uh, I did have a video come back that I had to get a bunch of voiceover done for um, also a sponsored thing I've cooked food for my family I don't know what else has gotten done today but those things have gotten done. While I was back recording that voiceover, and that was like a vortex, it was for an hour and a half video, but it still ended up three hours of my time. Three hours, okay. But during that time, the ice maker has been fixed. There was a little lid, um, that little cap that went on something inside. Travis didn't think we would need it. Turns out, we need it. And it's been a couple hours, and uh, so far it's not leaking. So I think we're saved there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my timer for about an hour. Um, the chicken is almost done. I just put the rice on. I still wanna saute the green beans from the garden and a little butter and um, garlic also. But while those things are in the wings <laughs> over there, we're getting back to this. Just one hour. I see a lot of things that just need out of there, like baskets that went with my other towers that, um, I actually donated the towers 
and the baskets are still here. So I need to get things out of those baskets, take them back to the th same thrift store. Um, and yeah, so that's, you know, my mental process on how I get through these 16 foot long table pro projects. Okay, we're gonna at least start with that, get going, um, and then I'll probably hit like all the trash and then I'll probably look for more thrift store things. Then I'll get back to processing the food, take it in layers. We're gonna get, we're so close, so close. Thank you also for listening to my voiceover videos. I know that some of you love it when I do voiceover, and then some of you are like, Jay Morrell, we just want you to look at us and talk to us. So it's easier for me when I get in some of these big projects to just hustle, just, just push through it. It can be hard for me sometimes uh, to also chat while I work. Sometimes I just have to Dave Ramsey podcast or the Bible or keep green worship music. You know, I'm not too, you know, too hard to please and uh, push through whatever it is. But this is what it is tonight. So let's set that timer. Okay. One hour. Oh, 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 no, no, now come on now. That's not what we're doing. Let's go. But wait, there's more. So I'm not showing you the whole outside of the house yet because I want to do updates there too. But the porch. The porch has been done. Look, me yet again not getting to that table. But anyway, here's the, the porch that we had done. And these are the kind of boards that don't need painted. And then here you'll see something new. There is no longer a row of refrigerators and freezers. And then here, walkie walkie, you will see. The baby kitchen is getting dismantled. So the refrigerator is gone from there. Uh, still have the trademark fly strips. Not much going on in this space at this moment. We just have some random furniture um, we, we've been moving around all kinds of things. So this room is just kind of a run through space right now while we are, yeah, working on projects. Chicken sisters are still out here, but she has served us well, definitely. And I still have another pile to go through. I still have my whole spice rack to go through. Still have not moved the calendar out. Uh, Travis did. Almost three years later, we got the heater off of that wall over there. It wasn't connected to anything. Um, but this whole thing will need to be painted as it is gutted. And Q&A video coming with all of that, with all those updates. But just wanted to show you some more things that have been getting done. Okay, now we have like 57 minutes left. We can do it. But also, Friendly has learned, he has learned the, the new kitchen door. Mm-hmm. So, got my worship music set. No, I don't. I have to look at my computer screen. <laughs> got my Dave Ramsey podcast going so I can just hustle through. And you see Friendly is having a nice time checking out any little thing he might find under that 16-foot table. And I'm just going through, like, I'm just seeing if those racks, yeah, those racks could fit in there, uh, those baskets if I wanted them to. Um... But yeah, I'm, I'm just dumping them out. I don't know what else to do other than dump. <laughs> Pump and dump. <laughs> Breastfeeding terms, right? But to uh, dump out everything in any container ever and then organize it fresh from there. Um, some of you have had some really good ideas like... I should, you know, maybe contact some of my other friends on YouTube who are like professional level organizers, like my friend Don, the Minimal Mom and such, uh, Clutterbug girlfriend from Canada. Uh, but anyway, it just, yeah, uh, you see, I f almost feel like even though I'm sharing this video with you, like I feel like me getting in these organizing and purging and decluttering times is like a personal thing that I just have to get in the zone in and um, it hurts my head to try to figure out collaborating with anyone else um, and you know lining up schedules and all of that like you see this is just 57 minutes one evening 
when I pulled it together enough to have time to finally work on this project again. It's hard. I am a hard person for other people to work with. I sure am. That's why I'm an entrepreneur. That's why I make my own schedule. That's why, you know, I get stuff done in the crevices here and there. And um, other people are organized in other ways. And and I'm really hard to, you know, fit in a box and um, and dot all the I's and cross all the T's like a lot of other folks. Um, so, like someone this week earlier <laughs> told me, um, just we were talking business wise stuff, and he was like, "Yeah, you're you're weird. Um, you're weird, and that's part of why you've been successful. Is you're just weird, Jay Morrell." And I was like, "Okay, well, I guess I have to like." That's kind of a strong word. I like to think that I'm unique. I am the way that God made me. He makes no mistakes, right? And uh, my life experiences and my choices and all of that um, have made me the person I am. And yeah, I may not match everybody, but it's okay if we all don't match. So somehow I got here in talking about why I haven't lined up to work with any of my professional organizing friends. I don't have it in me to put the time into coordinating and helping make something like that happen. If I would do that, I would probably miss out on making five other videos that I could get done for YouTube content wise. Anyway, that, that's that's all I got on that. If, if I was a better person, I could also pull that off. It, but instead, I'm here moving into my new kitchen, doing some good general organizing, getting a new homeschool year ready. This is going to be my 18th year of homeschooling. And of course, I'm a mom of nine, two, two of our our grown-ups now, right? So um, not homeschooling those men anymore. They had their time at the table with mama reading stories to them and all of our other adventures. So I have seven underage children still at home, six of which I'm homeschooling with a toddler in tow. And um, yeah, having getting ready for my 18th year and our fresh year with all our fun things. So in addition to moving into this kitchen and running around in circles in it that's some of the things going on in my mind uh that oh yeah and apricots apricots make everything better i was testing out to make sure those were still good i know i got those beginning of the summer and they did take a trip to the lake but yeah there's no sand in them not funky in any way not stale you know flavors not off so yeah those apricots oh yeah so good that i'm gonna go again hadn't had dried apricots since we took these to the lake okay so now I am organizing. Now that is a bunch of chocolate that I had got super marked down. Baking is like Lily's baking chocolate. I got that marked down at Sharp Shopper and uh, definitely need to make some good things with that and also need to get out of the dried apricot bag now. So what I'm trying to do here is the lower cabinet being like a general quick grab snack cabinet for kids. Of course, kids can get anything at any time and the refrigerator also always has like a yogurt bin and fruits that are quickly available and you know prepped carrot sticks and what have you but like the little applesauce cut cups and almonds and uh, different little crackers and things there that they could just get quickly. Look at this. This is my body double. <laughs> Apparently that's how it looks, right? Um, anyway, so this is not going to work. What you are seeing here cannot be relied upon. I am putting those baking items on the second shelf. I'm going to need to just stand on a chair, all five foot four of me. This is how this is going to go. Um, so yeah, they're not going to be able to live there. But right now at this point of the project, I'm like, you know what? I just have to find some general homes for things. And again, we will. We will mix and match and move around and see how things go. And now we are back to the green beans and the pressure cookers. So the rice is done. Now I did, I've got a, um, oh yeah, okay, I guess I should tell you, there's dinner. There's the chicken, the lemon garlic chicken, the rice, the green beans. There's how dinner looked. And then... Do you see the elephant in the room? The other other elephant in the room. That is a 60-quart pot 
over there on my stove super mega mama pot now the biggest pot that I generally cook in like if I'm doing you know chili or soups or what have you is a 22 quart pot but I wanted of course on this stove to be able to do mega and lots and I can't wait to use that for some serious big batch sauce making and freezer cooking prep and all those good things so now I am just I'm wiping everything down and going to get the um, I'm still working on my pressure cooker cabinet there and I have my instant pot accessories and so working on getting everything back in there and I have had some real nice comments about um, you know trying to keep my counters cleared and uncluttered but it is a balance because I want like this isn't just a showroom kitchen we actually use these this kitchen I have children and family who use this kitchen and I want them just to feel comfortable to come in and quickly find what they need so like I know I have kids who use the toasters multiple times a day and I have some that get on kicks making smoothies and so it's just easier to leave out the two double toasters and it's easier to leave the Vitamix out. In the baby kitchen we did take the toasters you know up and down from a shelf and when you have kids who are learning and you know doing things independently and such I mean you know if I go to move the toaster I'm gonna get crumbs around it just ends up being a crummy mess and it's also just easier if I leave them out and so that's why the toasters are out and again the Vitamix um, so that they know they can just come and use those things and I designed this kitchen with that in mind knowing that I need my countertops for my family to also have what they need of course the coffee station is going to stay out uh, the fruit and veggies um, like that I have back in the corner there they might move to the island at some point but again you know things are going to move around and flex depending on what projects we have going on what my family's needs are uh, and those kind of things so we've definitely created a kitchen <laughs> with usable space that we're going to actually use um, and not just walk through or sit and look at or uh, you know like just film a perfect little TV show in right this this really is real life too yeah got gotta have gotta have what we need to get work done so I am going through in like different little trivia packs or a few odds and ends spices I am uh, putting in different areas and we are having a go at it okay and here we are I just had to turn the camera off a bit and push through some of that um, and now we are we are wiping off the table we have found it I am so proud of us but I also had some older kiddos come and um, help me. And, you know, I don't have them, like, front and center in all the videos. Even though, there you go, you'll see them walking through doing things. Uh, so, that's why we had a, a little bit of an extra time lapse there. But here we are at the end. And, yeah, there's just all kinds of dust and such that was on all the items on the table. Various things. So, um... I'm, I'm scrubbing down this table we're, we're doing it and then I will clean it so it's kind of like s sweeping a floor so now I am doing the big vinegar wipe down on the table my braid is coming undone we don't care because we have worked hard for this and we are <laughs> victorious um, I've also had some questions about why I don't put the extra chairs up we have I believe 18 chairs out but just as an example we had family over uh, for dinner the other night and that was 14 um, and every every night we have 11 and every night we have 11 also in getting our new school year going I'm seeing that you know we may have heavy school stuff out um, spread out over spread out over both tables very easily uh, we just haven't found that the four to six extra chairs are worth stacking and having them stacked in another place in the room because for the most part we're we're using this we created this kitchen um, for our family to use and to use comfortably that's why I have the the countertop stools out around the island 
because again, I want my family to come in here and be comfortable. Travis loves sitting at the end of the island and, you know, different kids will end up out there and, you know, do dominoes or do, do a puzzle or work on different little things. And this, this kitchen isn't just for me to film my cooking on YouTube. Uh, this kitchen is for my family to enjoy and stretch out in and to meet all of their needs also. So here is the big pot which works perfect with that pot filler so lots of hopes and dreams there that'll go down. We've moved the birds, we've moved the other stained glass windows around, and now I have all my spice cabinet stuff out. But I am working on, I'm just seeing what else I can get, if I can get anything else in my cabinet there with my roaster oven. I keep looking for the right home for those electric griddles, and they're just not going to fit in there. Um, also, the handles on them do detach. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of falling apart on me. You get to be witness to that. So I have a drawer for my waffle makers, a drawer for my popcorn maker. Um, anyway, so I'm just taking those over and I'm just looking around and I decide, okay, well, for now, I will put them on that maybe going to stay, maybe going to go movable cart and we shall see also for now I have some bulk items and the cereal holders and, um, the bulk oatmeal and stuff there as well and so what I'm going to do I want to go ahead and get the bread machines of course I'm wiping them down again because I bet it's, it's been a while I feel like they need wiped down multiple times um, what I am going to do is get them all wiped off and move them to that little movable island there I'm going to move my tomatoes from there uh, because again with the bread machines that's more um, something that once we're in our school routines and such you know many days will look like get some bread machine projects going uh, make sure that you know a freezer meal is ready to go for the evening or make sure I have something dumped in the slow cooker uh, or if I'm doing the pressure cooker again just make sure everything's ready in the morning and things that can be cooking can go ahead and be cooking also I've mentioned I would love to one of my hopes and dreams is again we got to get our school routines going for this fresh year first um, but once we're doing that, and now that I have some elbow room, that I could get canning projects going on the stove uh, that I can check on throughout the day while we're doing school time. You know, for me to have dedicated big cooking days, I can really only um, get those in when school is going. If I do that on a Saturday, 
or if we have like a four day week and I do that between a Friday and a Saturday, it's just what bulk cooking and life is like with a whole lot of kids. Thank you to the EcoFlow Delta 2 for sponsoring today's video. The EcoFlow Delta 2 is not just a battery, but an essential home appliance, whether for daily home usage, outdoor or travel use. It's a handy and eco-friendly power station for your family anytime, anywhere. Head to my link in the description to visit EcoFlow's Green Energy Solutions.